Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Bed with Ben Hini podcast. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tenant subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to listen to an episode or watch an episode. I love you for always doing that. My name is Akusia, if you haven't seen me before. In today's episode, I'm talking all about discipline, building the discipline that allows you to be the best version of yourself. Let me tell you, I feel like nobody talks about how difficult it is to build discipline. Nobody talks about what frame of mind you need to be in to be able to build the discipline that allows you to be the best version of yourself. And that's what I'm here to talk about today because I have been through the phase that I have had to allow myself to build discipline because it was needed. I feel like you get to a point in your your life where if you don't have the discipline you're not able to cross through or you're not able to just cross over into getting that best self that best you that you're required to get and for me it, it has been such a journey telling yourself that you're going to build discipline putting yourself in that frame of mind that allows you to build the discipline is hard and then even Building the discipline, being consistent with that discipline is hard. One key thing that people forget to say or people don't always say is that discipline requires consistency. When I tell you how much consistency it requires for you to be able to build um, a certain level of discipline that you know you then now call a lifestyle because consistency is actually what helps you to build the habit keep going keep doing the same thing repeatedly no matter how much you like it knowing the future results that you're going to get from this thing that is what that that's what people don't talk about and how much that can very easily break you or if you're not strong enough how much you can very easily give up along the way it's real like it's real it's something that happens so there's discipline and there's a level of discipline that allows you to be the best version of yourself i feel like there's just discipline and there's hitting a level of discipline that is saying you know i am going to step out to be the best version of myself which means that i'm putting my foot forward or putting my best foot in everything that i do for me that would be to be a parent to be a content creator in just a regular nine to five job that i do saying that I am going to build a certain level of discipline that allows me to be the best version of myself in all these areas of my life. That's what I'm here to talk about. In general, life is hard, especially when you have a lot going on in life, you know, and that's just generally, it can be hard. So let me just start out by saying that building discipline is hard, allowing yourself to get to the mindset or to just build that mindset that allows you to be consistently disciplined um, or be putting your best foot forward in everything that you do, it can be hard because life just gets in the way sometimes. It can take you a long time to build just one habit that in terms becomes a lifestyle it can take you you know it can take you two years and over but what I'm gonna do in this video is just share with you seven clear steps that you can use to help you build that discipline that you require to be the best version of yourself so the first thing that I'll say is obviously discipline is tough I've said it already so take it easy on yourself okay just Take it easy on yourself. Give yourself grace. Start by giving yourself grace. I want to say that. You're doing amazing. You've done the best that you can so far with the best that you have so far. Um, And now you're about to become the even better version of yourself. So start by giving yourself grace, okay? And then the second thing that I'll say is set some clear goals for yourself. Be it fitness, be whatever area of your life that you're trying to build discipline in, take it one step at a time. I have a little thing that I always say, set smart goals for yourself. You know, setting attainable, making sure that the goals are measurable. I mean, setting the goals, making sure that the goals are measurable, making sure that the goals are goals that you can actually achieve or attain um making sure that they are goals that are relatable goals that you know that you know the goals that are in line with what you want to do in life they are goals that you know that you you can do they are goals that are within your strength even though even if they're not like within your immediate strength they are goals that you know that in the next five years when i do so so and so i can achieve that goal so that's what i'm talking about when i say relatable and then you also want to make sure that the goals are 
time bound that's the t for me it's time you want to make sure that you're putting time to your goals so you see on social media when people are always saying like 30 days to be the best version of yourself 60 days 90 days to be the best version of yourself it might sound a little cheesy but it's so true if you really want to achieve something putting time limit to it is it's it's like legit key okay why do you think people who work in corporate i work in corporate so like i always use nine to five as an example because that's pretty much all i do but why do you think people who work in corporate always like set a time limit to like they have time blocks and like time that they do things because that's how the job is able to be productive if you really want to be productive you want to set a time limit to some of the things that you do or some of the things that you need to be doing because that's how you're going to be able to be disciplined and again let me tell you building discipline is hard deciding that you want to build discipline it can be like going to school for your own self it can be like you are going to school and you're the teacher and you're the students at the same time you have to discipline yourself and you have to be the one to be learning the discipline in the process so start out by setting clear goals for yourself uh, making sure that the goals are smart goals goals that you can easily reach and then you can move from there okay the next thing that i'm gonna say is have some sort of like priority list okay or set a priority list for yourself for me building a fitness routine was definitely key allowing myself to grow to be that type of woman that is a good example for my female kids because i have two whole daughters so i couldn't allow myself to grow to become any type of woman it was so important to me i don't know how but for whatever reason it, there was one thing that I kept saying to myself I need to be a good example to myself and I keep saying it to myself like I need to be a good example to my kids and I know that sometimes life you know you can't always like predict life and whatnot but I don't like to think in that way I always like to think positive and I always like to think that if I put my mind to it I can be the best example that I can ever be to my kids and that's exactly what I'm setting out to be so for me these things have been a big priority in my life and just setting out to to be that best woman has in turn allowed me to be the best version of myself in a lot of areas because my kids are watching me in very different areas of my life and learning from me especially my oldest kid she's at a stage where and kids grow so fast right now like if you have any kid who's like one or two keep praying because once she's five once she's five they have just that's it okay once they hit five they start asking all these questions they start knowing all these things so for me it's, it was very important for me to become um the type of woman that when my daughters are looking up to me they know that you know if there's no woman in the world to look up to we can look up to mama because mama is a good figure she's a good example that we can look at to and that's important for me now my point number three i feel like i want to scream but i don't because i can't <laughs> but my point number three is you should have a routine for yourself set routines i cannot say this enough people probably underestimate how much setting a routine can put you in some sort of structure okay having a routine is just the best way that you can manage your time like set a routine have a daily routine have a weekly routine have a monthly routine do everything that you can to have some sort of routine going for yourself as a mom if i don't have a routine i would never be able to do all the things that i do around myself i would not have time for myself i would only have time for my kids so it's key set a routine for yourself however just don't overwhelm yourself that's what i've come to realize um that routines can very easily um, overwhelm you if you're putting so much on you know your to-do list or the things that you have to do in that day so make sure that you're setting a routine in a way that is convenient for you and not just what somebody is doing do it according to what works for you do it according to how your time is going you know do it according to your circumstances in life but just have a routine and routine can help you build so much discipline it can help you build that habit that you need to build that long-term discipline in turn um, helping you becoming the best version of yourself okay so my point number four what I'm gonna say is this is definitely for me try as much as possible to avoid procrastination okay if you're like me you're not alone you're not alone I am here with you because procrastination is something that oh I do it so much it's one thing that I have been working on at 
effectively because I learned this quote or I heard it from someone somewhere. I think I was watching a video and that person said that procrastination is the cost of the life. I think it was a video on TikTok, I remember. The person said that procrastination is the cost of the life you could be living or procrastination is the cost of the life that you could have been living. That hits me so much and that's so true because imagine the time that we would procrastinate if we use that time to do the things that we're supposed to be doing imagine how much time you'd be saving imagine how much managing your time would look like that thing for me hit me so much and i have tried as much as possible that every time that i have a task and then you know i'm feeling like i don't want to do it or i just tend to procrastinate about that task i remind myself of that same tiktok video for whatever reason shout out to that girl because saying that thing it literally hit me so hard because when you think about it the number of times that we would just procrastinate over you know the things that we have to do and just waste a good like one hour i'll do it in the next hour i'll do it in two hours i'll do it in 20. imagine if you did it in that like time frame you would have saved that 20 minutes to do something else but you didn't you just wild away time to waste time which then i mean took up a lot of your time but if you had done it in the moment you'd have saved time you know to do something else or to you know spend more time with yourself so procrastination is the cost of legit the life that you could have been living so avoid procrastination as much as you can if you have anything that you have to do in the moment do it in the moment and that's even me telling myself this because as a mom sometimes i'm just tired or sometimes i just want to chill or just breathe but then i I tell myself that if you were to do this right now you wake up tomorrow morning and have a good day because you did the work and when i wake up and i see dishes from the day before i get mad but i left the dishes you know like i feel like somebody left the dishes in my sink but i left the dishes in my sink so it's just procrastination as they always say is a thief of time and it's not a lie it's just going to steal your time and waste that time so try as much as possible to avoid procrastination it will help you um to be disciplined you know avoiding procrastination is just you on the journey to be discipline so that's for me it's like it's key i've been saying these days and i feel like wow i'm i'm on like this different wavelength of like okay i'm, I'm gonna be the best version of myself that's just all i'm saying i'm gonna do what i know that is good so and if you're the i just want to add that if you're the type of person i learned this technique on social media shout out to social media the path that is teaching at the good things shout out to that but i learned this on social media there's a technique apparently called the pomodoro I think I'm saying it right, Pomodoro technique. But it's so convenient and so efficient if you're the type of person that is always like, you know, finds it difficult to be able to like get task done. I had that problem, like I would find it difficult to like be in one sitting to do a whole video editing because I want to like take breaks, consistent breaks, and I found this technique. So the Pomodoro, Pomodoro technique is basically you set in a task, right? And then you set a timer for 25 minutes and then do the task so in my case i will set a timer for 25 minutes sit down to try to edit a video and then the timer will go off after 25 minutes and then you take a break you take a break for three minutes sometimes i would do like five minutes just take a break walk around after five minutes you come and sit down set a timer again for 25 minutes now you're going to do four times of the 25 minutes okay do it over and over four times and that becomes almost like an hour or over an hour of like sitting and working on one task now because it's like in little blocks of 25 minutes you don't exactly think of like wow that's like a big time but once you're done you're like okay that's actually big and you did get to take little breaks even though it was like two minutes three minutes breaks it was breaks and for you it's like okay i'm being productive it feels so good to like set your mind to being productive it's like it feels so good it gives you such a good feeling you know it's like i'm doing the good things for myself you know like who doesn't like that so it's definitely something that i would like for you guys to practice if you haven't already done that if you haven't tried it before i'm sure a lot of you have heard of it um have heard of it but if you haven't try it out and come back and tell me how it works okay like i really would want to know come back and share with me how does that work for you because i want to know 
now another thing which is my fifth point that i want to say is you have to be aware of yourself as a person i feel like that's key knowing yourself knowing your strengths and your weaknesses i feel like helps you to be able to determine the areas in your life that requires discipline for me it's like so important to know that this area in my life requires discipline that's because you know yourself that's because you know which areas you're falling short in so know yourself be aware of yourself don't be so busy doing so much around town or in people's lives that you don't know so much about yourself like you don't know so much about yourself that's sad so you, you want to be self-aware when you're trying to build discipline because it helps you to know exactly what areas in your life requires that type of discipline now my point number six accountability i cannot say this enough building discipline requires that you have or you become accountable for whatever habits or whatever discipline you're trying to build because that's how you know that you're actually developing in that area that's how you know that you're growing that's how you know that you're actually doing the things it's all i say okay that's how you know that you're doing the things that need to be done to get you to be the best version of yourself so when you're on that journey of building discipline or if you want to build that type of discipline for yourself you want to at least have some sort of accountability whoever you can make your accountability partner make them an accountability partner for yourself have someone that you know reminds you of why you're doing this or why you started this or why you need to do this I am a good accountability partner for myself as well I keep myself in check I am my I always say that I'm my big motivator I motivate myself a lot of the time people would say how do you get motivation to do the things that you do or like to work out I motivate myself honestly I just motivate myself make sure that I am motivated for myself okay because I know that I'm doing this for me so put yourself in that mindset that you know that you're doing this for you and not for anybody else so that you're accountable okay now one thing that i have come to learn about discipline is just being able to have self-control in this case what do i mean when you're trying to build a certain level of discipline you need to be able to control yourself you need to be able to say no to certain things that you would have you would have originally said yes to you need to let go of certain things let go of certain habits that you had before self-control is a huge part of discipline and i cannot even say it enough that mid-range of you getting into that phase or climbing the ladder of like you know i'm getting to the stage where there's no coming back from this discipline that's the self-control part so you want to be able to get to a level where you're able to control yourself as and when needed and that is what's going to help you get the discipline that you require to be the best version of yourself so self-control is key saying know sometimes to certain things that are not so helpful or certain things just not 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 necessarily not so helpful just generally certain things that you would have originally been doing or certain things that you would have said yes to you now have to say no to them just so that you can be able to build this lifestyle that allows you to be a better you yeah you guys discipline is hard building discipline is tough but also trust me it's going to be the best thing that you can ever do for yourself i just want to say that give yourself grace like i already said come back to this particular episode if you ever need to come back to it as in when whenever you need to come back to it trust me come back to it i'm going to be coming back to when i need to um sharing it with whoever needs to hear it because that's key but definitely take some time give yourself grace allow yourself to go through the phases that you have to go through but know that it requires discipline to be that best version of yourself that's it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed i just want to say that if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel follow me on all social media platforms thank you guys so much for watching this episode give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to be the best version of yourself in everything that you do okay i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>